Hello everyone. My name is Alama Yuambao. I'm from Sarchi in Post Harvest Technology at Stellenbosch University. I'll give you a quick status update on our hot growth fund research project titled in short uh, container logistic, which has been started at the beginning of uh, this year. Container logistic, as you know, is a complex and very crucial activity in the fresh fruit supply chain. Uh, research in this area is very active and is quite interesting to deal with. The cooling unit of reefer container uh, has a limited cooling capacity that it can only lower the pulp temperature very slowly and therefore the fruit, the load is usually pre-cooled to a specified optimum transport temperature before loading. This is the normal procedure uh, in operating reefers. However, uh, for flexibility in a transport scheduling and sometimes a need may arise to load a cargo at above optimum temperature. Expecting the reefer to cool the produce down to the optimum temperature while in transit. And the safe execution of such option entails a clear understanding of the cooling capacity of the a container and should uh, consider many factors including the thermal dynamics of the cargo. So uh, the main objective of our project is to establish this criteria. That is to, uh, to, to analyze the capacity of refer container to do this uh, operation. Particularly, uh, we intend to assess the scenario of loading Granny Smith Apple and pack and trump pier at uh, around five degrees centigrade and, and, and expecting the cooling unit to bring them down to a temperature lower than zero degree centigrade. And this project we implement both experimental and computer modeling methods. As you know, uh, Sarchi in post harvest technology at Stellenbosch University has been active in experimental and computational fluid dynamics technique to study this system. And we start our analysis by first acquiring the airflow resistance characteristic of the stack uh, and also the cooling kinetics of the stack in uh, a wind tunnel experiment and in a forced air cooling system as you can see it here. These two experimental uh, measurements give us the information to develop uh, uh, what is called a porous medium model of uh, the container, as you can see it here, including the teeth bar floor, which is crucial in the airflow distribution and the cooling unit. Using this uh, uh, model, we'll be able to uh, simulate the airflow distribution inside the container as you see in this uh, animation, we show that air entering the T-bar at the bottom at high velocity, reaching up to 17 meters per second, and velocity is higher in the free region above the pallet, uh, whereas it is very low in the region occupied by the uh, fruit due to the resistance. Uh, and also shown here is a contour plot of air velocity on horizontal plane bisecting the stacks and also on vertical plane bisecting uh, one of the rows of uh, pallets. As you see here, velocity is low in a region near the door. Uh, and also there is a small region here at the back near the cooling unit where we have very low air velocity. That means low ventilation. Uh, velocity uh, uh, lower than 0.1 meter per second. This, as you will see, have a, a clear impact on the temperature or on cooling distribution. Also animated here is the cooling inside the container. Observe here at, in the region near the door uh, and also uh, near the cooling unit at the back, the cooling is much lower than the rest of the pallet. This is a direct ref reflection of the airflow distribution in the uh, container. But this variation is only important in the first few days, say in the 24 hour of the trip. But afterwards, the whole system reached to a much uniform temperature and low uniform, low temperature as you see here. And uh, we are happy to reach here in this uh, COVID-19 lockdown, but uh, still the model need a fine tuning as well as validation using practical data that we intend to perform in the remaining uh, period of this 
project. But in the meantime, we we'll be able to collect some information from a cloud system, Accents, which follow container from Cape Town to Malaysia, which give us uh, temperature history in some 30 trips as shown by each curve here and uh, also analyzed down here showing the maximum temperature inside the container this green curve and the uh, uh, minimum temperature inside the container shown in the blue curve using this information we perform a preliminary uh, 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 simulation uh, calling it the worst case scenario by starting the uh, load at 10 degrees centigrade, which is much higher than uh, our intention. The intention is to load the fruit at five degrees centigrade, but we perform this first experiment from 10. And as you see here, the temperature uh, predicted by the safety model is significantly higher than the average observed in, uh, inside the container as uh, given by the cloud system, but it's still lower than the maximum observed. And that gives us a hope that the uh, system may indeed be capable to cool down the fruit from five degrees centigrade that we will test in the coming weeks. And uh, also we intend to perform uh, a detailed validation of the model uh, through collaboration uh, with our industry partners uh, using practical data and also we uh, are intending to perform uh, quality map using this temperature data and that will come shortly and uh, uh, this is uh, status of the project so far and I would like to thank for your time and would like to thank uh, the following organization and these people for their uh, time